Hello everyone, welcome. Once again, we are uh, at Virtual Fly and we're flying the duo here. Uh, we've got Squirrel here. Yo. And uh, he's gonna be acting as second in command and he's going to be failing the engines for me. So what we're doing is uh, doing uh, engine failure procedures. So we're gonna lose one engine at V speed on takeoff in the Beach Baron 5.8 here at uh, Fort Myers uh, Page Field. Uh, and then the second scenario is going to be at a thousand feet. We're going to lose all engines and have to glide the airplane back to the airport. All right, flaps are set for approach. Lane lights, taxi lights, all good stuff set on, and I'm ready to go. Trim set for takeoff. Parking brakes good. Trim is yep set for takeoff. Sweet. Here we go. All right. So just as your wheels hit the ground, I'm going to knock out your right engine. All right. And my power. Take off power. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gonna feather that prop. Yes. For you. Air speed's alive. Yeah. The uh, we're gonna feather, feather the prop because we found if you do not feather the prop, you will die. You will not make it back at all. Okay. Engine failure. Yep. There's the failure of the engine. Now we gotta make it back to the airport in one piece. That's Just gonna kill be a warning for you. Yep. Thank you. We gear up. Ah, uh, yes, please. Alright, so the flaps are still in approach flaps, but we need that for lift. We yes. worked out. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have to have the, the flaps set to approach. And you're going to be pretty, pretty close. The thing is, what they can't see is, is your speed right now, which is 70, 75 knots? 75 knots or so, and, yeah. And just about a positive rate of climb. Right on the edge here. And a very, very shallow five degree bank angle. Yeah, if you go anything over five degrees of bank, you probably won't make it. We need uh, rudder trim to help us out here. We're, we lost the right engine, so it's been pulling hard to the left. But you're 200 feet, and you know we're just about holding. But this thing with one engine, it just doesn't want to fly. Yeah, and I'm looking to the left there. I've got the airfield in sight, and yeah, you just can't, you can't dump that that bank over you know that that much you have to go real easy on it here five degrees shallow and good and we're at I mean we're firewalled on that engine too getting everything we possibly can out of it yeah very low to the ground so you call out your gear yep I, I don't know if you're gonna leave it on approach flaps yeah, leave it on right, right now so you just call out your gear when you're ready yeah I don't even think I'll if I have to get that last uh, bit of lift, I'll dump the, the flaps, but we'll see where we're, where we're at here. 220, 240 feet off the ground, 75 knots. I'm on the glide path, believe it or not. Yeah. Which is, was I barely above what we even got when I failed you? Yes. Just no climbing this thing. Yep. And I'm going to do gear down when we get lined up here. Uh, still watching my airspeed. Alright, gear down. Gear down. Track. Drag and three green. Beautiful. And the last setting of flap. Go full flaps. Yep. In place. Here we go. Runway three one. Have that right rudder. I'm gonna have to step on that rudder too for this. Kick it around, isn't it? Oh yeah. Come on, baby. But this thing loves to glide. Oh yeah, it does. Whoa, almost there. Ooh, nice. nice. Good touchdown. And we are down brakes and we'll get set up for the next scenario which will be engine failure at a thousand feet on a departure climb all right I think I'm ready to all right what are we selling flaps now flaps are okay there you go approach, approach flaps. flaps set yep full mixture full prop yep everything else looks good so this time I'm gonna let you get to a thousand I'm gonna kill the whole thing yep and I'll just uh, fly the airplane like I would normally on a regular departure Takeoff power is set. Airspeed's alive. Eighty knots. There's Eighty knots. So rotation speed on up we go. Gear up. It's coming up. This thing will bitch at us. It, it, it gets confused. It thinks that we're in a landing phase, so it gives you the warning. I'd be interested to know if anybody. Uh, that uh, flies G1000 
with an RG aircraft if it does that in the real world. Let me know when you want the flaps up. All right, I'll wait for 500 feet. As much lift as I can for now. You're going to depart left or right? Left. Okay. You want the flaps up now? Yep, flaps up. Okay, start your departure, sir. Yes. Comes the turn. Coming up on a thousand feet. Yep. Full, okay. We full just, engine fail. Full engine failure. We just lost everything. I'm gonna bring that nose down. Try to get as much uh, airspeed as I can. Try to get to the glide speed here. I'm kill the warning sign so we don't have to listen to that thing yeah. bitch at us the whole time. Hey, did you know our engines have failed? <laughs> <laughs> Ding. Exactly. We've got the field in sight. Now it's a matter of just getting that glide speed going here. Right around 90 knots. I love the way this thing pitches around as well. Yeah, you could feel it really good. It makes you feel like you're actually in the atmosphere. You know what? Actually, I'm going to be doing it differently on this one. You're going to go brave? I'm going. I don't think we'll make it on the other side, honestly. Not, okay. Not at the way it's looking right now. Okay. I think I don't have a choice, to be honest. Because yeah. I made that turn just a little earlier. Yeah. This is, this is going to be close. This is going to be real close. This could be a highway landing. <laughs> well, hopefully we won't get to that. It's going to be a, a short field landing, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll get ready on the gear, and uh, if you want flaps or gear, just let me know. Yep. And we're going to have a four-knot tailwind, so that's going to make it even more fun. It's all about being real smooth and calm during one of these situations. We've got 240 feet, 83 yep. knots. Looking good. Gear down. Gear down. Yep, flaps. Approach flaps set. Oops, flaps looks good. And landing flaps. Let's try to get all the lift I can out of it right now. You got full flaps. Yep. It's a oh, it's oh, going to be dead. Oh, there's a stall. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh we would man. not have survived that one. No. Nope. Not at all. I think, uh, I think I bled off way too much airspeed. Yeah. On that. But, we tried. I think, you know, if in reality what you would have done there was you just have to straighten it up and just take the grass. Yeah, just take the grass. You'd have walked away from it. Yeah, easily. And we've done, we did uh, two or three runs of that, and we made it every time. Yeah. So, yeah, I, it was something I did wrong because we were recording, of course. Of course. But that'll, uh, that'll do it for engine out procedures at Fort Myers Airport. Yep, ready to do it. Engines are coming in. Beautiful. Her speed is alive. That's 80 knots. Rotate. There's the fail. Yep, it's lost the right engine. Okay, gear up. Gear up. Warning's cleared. Okay, so we are 90 knots with a just about positive climb going on. I'm going to rudder trim this to get rid of that. Otherwise, I'm having to hold the pedal. Yep. And just letting this thing climb very, very slowly. And now you decide your best field. You're going to take a field or you're going to take the airport? <laughs> So I'm going to keep it on a very slow 5 degree bank, any more and we'll just lose too much vertical speed. And just trying to keep some kind of a positive climb going on here. I'm going to get up to like 200 feet if I can, without stalling. Meanwhile, looking out the left window, trying to find the airfield. Trim that back a bit. 85 knots, 240 feet. A very, very slow climb. But a climb is better than a descent right now. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I've got uh, the range zoomed in on the field there so you can see the actual runways if you need me. Yeah. I'd like to have more of a, a turn to be honest, but... Yeah, you have to be real patient with the, the turn. 
You just lose so much airspeed if you do it the other way. Yeah. Yeah, we've got 80 knots, just about. Okay, I have the runway in sight. Alrighty. I'm going to try and get more of a turn going. Watch that speed, watch that altitude. Looking good. We've actually got 350 feet now, which is quite nice. Oh yeah. When we tried without the... Uh the feathering of the prop, we were down at 100 feet at like a 75 knots or so. Yeah, it was bad. The gear down or the prop, you just you just can't get lift. No, it, it's horrendous. The weird thing about this plane is like it will glide really well. Yeah, well, take an engine out and it just doesn't want to. It just doesn't want to <laughs> fly. All right, airfield is coming up. All right. Level it out now. Yeah, you're on the glide path. I'm gonna try and get on the uh, approach right. line. And awesome. this right, let's go gear down. Flaps one. You're down. Flaps approach. And full flaps. Up for landing. Oh, you know what? We, we, we were landing flaps because we kept approach flaps in that entire time. Yeah, that's I true. I remember. That's first, true. We found that out too. You had to have some flaps in, otherwise, you lost too much lift. Uh, you glide down. And yeah, there we are. Very nice. Alrighty. I'll just let it roll down to the bottom here. Yep. That's how you land this thing with a single engine failure on takeoff. Yeah, it's it's a little uh I'll little be honest, scary. it's not something I'd like to do in real life. Oh absolutely <laughs> not, no. It's nice to know that I mean in prepared world you, you could make it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Tokyo Drift. Okay. Ready. Right, let me reset my trim. Okay. Do you, want to do your, you want to do your departure failure off of Roman 1.3? Uh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's going to be just as much fun. Yep. Okay, I believe we're now set up. Let me start the engine. GPS go. warnings again. Those are good. Okay, we're looking good here. Yep. Full takeoff. Uh, this time. Jeff's going to fail both engines on me when he hit 1,000 feet, and Absolutely. I'm going to have to glide it back in and see if we can actually walk away from this. Yep. It's full power. That speed's alive. Let's go. Up you come. Gear up. Gear up. Just going to trim out for a 10 degree climb. We'll get to 500 and then go flaps up. Right. I can't even imagine having an engine failure even at a thousand feet on a departure. Flaps up? Flaps up. No, neither can I. <laughs> you saw it happily flying out here and then all of a sudden like bird strike or something, both yeah, engines. Yep. Wow, that's got to be scary. Oh, it would. Birds. Boom. All right, we just lost both engines. Okay, two bird strikes. Down. Let's keep that speed. Let's try and find a runway. Clear your warning. Okay, I have a runway in sight. Yep. It's a heck of a turn, but I think we can do it. We've got a thousand feet so far. 
Yeah, in testing, we have found that trying to make the, uh, the, the runway you took off on, it's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, a full 180. I mean, if, we're lucky here because we've got cross runways. But yeah. If you only had a single runway, this would be pretty tricky. I'd probably shoot the highway. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm doing right. good here. We've got 600 feet at the moment. All right, gear is up. Try and come in more direct because I'm losing altitude fairly rapidly. This is almost identical to my approach. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it really is. Alright. I'm going to wait till the last minute. Yep. Just keep the glide. Glide's good, you got airspeed. Yep. Clip this tree. Right, gear down, flaps one. Gear down, flaps approach. You got it. You got it. Right there. Ooh. And we're down. <laughs> Only just hit the top. Just tumor. barely, but that was good. That is tough. That is a real tough thing to do. Because you start, you, you get a little confident when you see that you're on that glide path coming, yeah. coming around the corner there, but it's, it's, you lose so much airspeed when you drop the uh, landing gear. Yeah, the last, the last 400 feet is, is pretty critical. Like if you drop that gear down or the flaps too early, you're done. Yep. And I, uh, I failed both engines at 1,100 feet exactly. And it depends. We, we've, we try to shoot right around 1,000, but like literally 100 feet can make the difference of you yeah. surviving or not. It, it, it really is that close. Right, fantastic. That Good was a stuff. Negative 89 foot per minute landing. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> not bad at all.